Anderson family. But Oliver, darling, if Junior says he didn't use the saw, he didn't use it. That he had it last. Now, they're building a clubhouse, and he asked to use a saw. Of course, but he didn't necessarily lose it. All the circumstances point to the fact that he did. Uh-oh, here we go again, folks. <laughs> Now let's visit the Anderson family. Well, this whole thing started at the office where Oliver Anderson spends a lot of his time. It seems as though some very valuable papers have been lost, and Oliver is implicated, according to the boss. Now, look here, Anderson. That letter was right with those other letters I sent in to you. Uh, well, look, I'm rather an alert sort, Mr. Thompson. At times. Yeah, yeah. Well, if the letter came into me, I'd have seen it. Where do the letters go when they leave me? Into me. Right. And when I want a letter, where do I get it? From me. Good. So far, you're betting a thousand. What letter was it? Letter, uh, 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 close the door, Anderson. Secret? Yes, it is. is it? But what, what am I whispering for? I don't know. Now, look, Anderson, that letter is a bill for a corsage I sent to a, a, a young lady, and you know how my wife is. I'll say I do. What's that? I mean, uh, yes, I know about uh, her. Good. Now, now, she wouldn't understand, of course. They never do. Isn't that the truth? Hmm. This woman's name must never be repeated by anyone, Anderson. I know a fellow who takes his wife some sort of a little pet when he's been a bad boy. It works, too. It does. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, it does. Uh, uh, how does it work? Oh, uh, well, if it's something small, you take home a bird or a parrot or something. Oh. Uh, if it's bad, then, of course, you have to get up into the pet monkeys and so on. No! Uh, I will not take my wife a pony. Gee, that is that, huh? It's that bad, Anderson. <laughs> if you don't find that letter before she does... You're in a spot. Yeah, but I didn't lose the it. The circumstances point to the fact that you did. Uh, yeah. yeah, well, I guess it does. But just last night, the police chief let a criminal go, mm. even though he had a lot of circumstantial evidence against That's him. That's the trouble with the chief. Oh, boy, I told him off. I'm on the committee, you know. I laid him out proper. You did? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just watch where you park, Anderson. Yeah. I guess okay, so. now find that letter. <laughs> You better find the saw, Junior, before your father gets home. He wants to get it sharpened tonight. Oh, gee, Mom, I brought it back and put it on the back porch. I remember. Well, it's not there now. Think hard now. What did you do with it? Oh, gee, I don't know. Oh, hi, Pop. Oh, home so soon, dear? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, did I leave a letter here by any chance this morning? I didn't see any, Oliver. What letter? Oh, letter about a corsage for someone. Corsage? Mm -hmm. Why, no, I didn't see the letter nor the corsage. Well, it was for someone else. For someone else? Yeah. I'm mildly interested. Well, I don't see why. You don't? No. Junior, go on out and bring in the hose from the backyard. Put it in the basement. Your father has something he wants to discuss. Now, don't start oh, that, Mary. Mom. Gee whiz, can't I listen? Now, hurry. Oh. Do as I say. Hurry. Oh, darn it. Why can't I stick around? Seems like I'm missing everything. Now, look, Oliver, I admire your frankness. I'll give you that. Some men would have sneaked or lied about it. Why should I lie about it? Well, why should you have sent some woman a corsage? Gee, did I say that? Indeed you did. Huh? Let's talk it over, hmm? No. Well, I have to keep her name out of this, honey. Her name? Is it someone I know? Oh, no, of course not. You know, Oliver, this is the first time in 13 years you've ever done a thing like this. It's the first time I've ever lost a letter. Oh, 
So there have been other times. Oh. Well, I'm sure you don't mind telling me more. I promised the boss I wouldn't even mention it. The boss? Yeah. You didn't send him a corsage. Now, I'm not oh, that stupid. I didn't say that. It's a letter of his about some corsage to a girl, and I lost it. Oh, well, for heaven's sakes, why, why didn't you say so? Oh, I don't know. The boss has me upset again. But you didn't lose the letter, is that it? Well, the boss said I lost it. But you know how he is. Oh, well, never mind. You remember I phoned to have that saw ready so I could take it down and have it sharpened? Oh, well, yes. The saw seems to have disappeared. Oh, no. I told Junior not to lose it. Well, he didn't. He said he left it on the back porch. Now, wait. No one's going to walk up onto a strange back porch and pick up a saw. But he says he left it there, Oliver. Look, now, he asked to use the saw. He took it and used it. I didn't use it, nor did you. He says he left it on the back porch. The fact is, there is enough evidence there against him. Why don't you run for district attorney? Well, I... Huh? Oh, you think it's fun? Let's have a short turn. lull, darling, till we see who this is. Oh, well, good evening, Chief. Come in. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Is Mr. Anderson home? Yes, of course. Oliver, the police chief to see you, dear. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hello, Chief. Huh, sit down. I, I can't stay, Mr. Anderson, but... Sure. Uh, uh, I, I've been thinking over what you said about me uh, letting that criminal go. Oh. Because the evidence was circumstantial? Well, I'm glad you have, with all the robberies going on. But, uh, Mr. Anderson, we, we, we can't just hold a man because he's out late or because he's near a place that's been held up. Well, of course, now, being chairman of the sit-ins committee, I take my duty seriously. Yeah, yeah, but I'm, I, I'm in a bad spot. Anderson. Yeah, I know. I'd, uh, I'd kind of like to have you go along with me on some of these things till I can work them out. Well, the only thing we decided on at the meeting is this. When you catch them, convict them. But what if the evidence is purely circumstantial? Convict them anyway. At least you'll get a couple of guilty ones that way. <sighs> well, I'm sorry to see you take this attitude, Anderson. Well? You could be in the same boat yourself sometime. You'd want justice. Me? I'm not a crook. Well, we won't go into that. Oh. Well, I'm, uh, I'm sorry that's your attitude, Anderson, but it uh, might work out somehow. I'm sure it will. All you have to do is jail them when you catch them. Yeah, well, you you can tell the committee I'll I'll do just that. That's fine. I'm glad you stopped in. Yes, of course. Good night. Good night. I'm uh, awfully sorry this thing came up, Anderson. Oh, well, maybe it's for the best, Chief. Yes, maybe. Good night. Good night. Oh, you should be ashamed of yourself talking like that to the Chief. Well, the committee expects it, Mary. I don't really mean to be that way. Well, never mind. If we're going to the Bronson's party, we'd better hurry. Party? What, uh, part, tonight? Why, yes, the costume party that the committee's giving. You made the date yourself. Oh, yeah, that's right. That oh. you, Junior? Yeah, Mom. Party, costume party. Chief, Pop, I looked all over the back porch and the saw isn't there. You know why it isn't there? Now, I know what you're thinking, Pop, but you're wrong. Believe me, I did, too, put it there. I just know I did. Uh -huh. Never mind, we'll find it tomorrow. We have more important things to do. Look, Junior, Homer's coming over to sit with you tonight till we get home. Oh, Mom, not that. Gee, those corny stories he tells about back in Nebraska. He's kumquat happy. Why, Junior, what a way to talk about Homer. I know what Junior means. I've heard him, too. Well, anyway, you be a good boy now. Does that take care of everything now? Yes, indeed. Now, let's hurry or we'll be late. You certainly look like a Bowery queen in that getup. <laughs> You don't look like a congressman yourself. Oh, well, tough guys always wear caps like this. Ah. I'll give you four sticks of gum, and you'll be queen of the taxi dancers. <laughs> this is fun. I haven't been to a costume party for years. I wonder if anybody will know us with these masks on. Mm, not if you don't talk. Oh, all right. All right, get in now, Queenie. Thanks, Bo. you got manners, you have. Check, sister. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. What's this junk in the front seat here? Junk? Tin hat, sword, and a gun belt. Uh, wait a minute. What's this? Look, Mary, Junior's got a real gun. Where'd he get it? Oh, calm down. The boys found it down by the creek. It's no good. Junior says it won't fire anyhow. Well, you never can tell with these things here. Maybe it does work. Oh, oh Oliver! Look oh. at that car window. Oh, it isn't loaded, huh? Well, I'll see that he doesn't get hold of that gun again. Uh. Oh, give it to me, Oliver. I'll bury no, it. No, no, no. Never mind. We don't have time. Just toss it alongside of me here. Now, that's it. Oh, I wonder if anyone heard the shot. Well, if they're awake, they did. Homer may come running with his squirrel gun. Come on, let's get going. Fast. I 
think you'd better stop and get gas, Oliver. Gas? Didn't you get gas this morning? I didn't use the car. There's a station right there on the corner. Okay, don't point. Oh, good evening, folks. Good evening. Uh, fill her up? Nope, just four. Four? Trying to wean it? <laughs> Brother, you listen to too many radio comics. <laughs> <clears throat> Pardon me, sir. Uh, four it is. I'll get out and see that I get four, too. Oh, you dropped something on the driveway, Oliver. Ah, uh, just that old gun. I'll watch it. Let's hear that last chime, son. Yes, sir. Hmm. That's better. And put the cap on tight. All set, sir. Fine. How's your oil? Good. How's yours? Hurry, <laughs> Oliver. We'll be late. A water okay? Yep, perfect. Uh, better let me look at the battery. No, I've seen it. Looks pretty good. I can get that windshield for you. Mm. Gee, how'd that window get broken out? It was shot out. And do I have to get all this service? Well, no. I, I was just being a good salesman like they taught me. I got a wife and three kids. I got a wife and one, and I'm not beefing. Well, uh, gee, I, I don't want no trouble, mister. I can see you're a tough guy. Yeah. Don't see many guys wearing caps anymore. Hey, I am tough, son. Why, well, I could shoot that cigar right out of your mouth and never nick you. Gee, I, I read about fellas like you. Uh, ain't you scared of the police? Scared of the police? Say, I'll take them on all day. You know how tough I am? Hey, leave me alone. <laughs> gee, I, I don't blame them. There ain't a jail that can hold me, pal. Put up them shooting irons, partner, and let's get. Okay, babe. Oh, uh, gee, the phone. Now, now, don't get sore at me. Come on, Oliver, <laughs> leave that poor fellow alone. He's actually scared. I must look like warmed over lightning to him. <laughs> we go down three blocks. Turn left now. Hey, come back here! Well, it's the station attendant, Oliver. He's waving something. <gasps> it's that revolver you dropped out of the car. <laughs> well, let him keep it. Hey, did you pay for the gas? Me? Why, no, I didn't bring any money. Well, neither did I. My wallet's home in my other pants. Oh, well, he'll, we'll uh, get it when we pass back this way. <laughs> Hello, police? This is Sam Snodgrass at Ike's filling station. I've been robbed. Get a squad car. Help! Do something! Huh? Yeah, two of them. He's got a mob with him. He was going to shoot the cigar out of my mouth. His license number is Q, like in cucumber, three, nine... <laughs> Now, back to the Anderson family. Oliver and Mary were on their way to a costume party. Mary dressed as a tough dame, and Oliver is a thug. They stopped to get gas and forgot to pay the man, who has, of course, called the police. Uh, nothing has happened so far, and right now, Mary and Oliver Anderson are leaving the friend's house. I'll be glad to get home and out of this outfit. Yeah, can't understand why they gave Snyder the prize. Anybody could see he wasn't a bullfighter. No, no, no sour grapes, dear. Uh, where's the car? Oh, right over here past the hedge. Well, Junior's all right. Oh, he and Homer are probably both asleep by this time. Homer puts himself to sleep with those gags of his. Well, <laughs> here we are, dear. Uh -huh. Okay, Mary, hop in. Mm -hmm. Just a minute. What's Take that? it easy now. What? What is this? Is this your car? Our yeah. car? Well, of course it is. What's wrong? No parking lights or something? I wouldn't be so cute, brother. Frisk him, Freddy. Frisk him? Frisk, what are hey, you doing? say, wait a minute. This is a fine state of affairs. A citizen can't even go out in the dark. What is this? Okay, okay. Can the chin music, bub? But chin we music. live in town. This is Mr. Anderson. Oliver Anderson, that's me. Oh, Anderson. Yeah. Let's see, where did I hear that? Oh, yes, the chief. Yeah, oh, now, that's it. The chief will know who I am. Well, just to make sure, let's see your driver's license. Uh, driver's license? Yeah. Well, hey. Oh, driver's license. Sure. Oh, no, wait a minute. I don't have my wallet. That's oh. all I want to know. Huh? This is getting funnier every minute. Well, wait a minute here. Pull over here, Freddy. Oh. They're riding in our car. And wait. will the chief be glad to see this guy? All right, right this way, babe. Huh? You with the makeup. Me? Yeah. Oh. What have you done to Oliver? Oh, he's cooling off in the tank. He won't get in bad company. All right, just follow me now, Toots. Chief wants to see you. This is positively humiliating. 
Well, you should have thought of that when you held up that gas station. Held up a gas station? I can't help you, lady. It's up to the chief. Oh, dear. Let me talk to the chief. He knows us. The idea of You'll get your us. wish, lady. Go right in. He'll talk to you. Chief, I've never been so humiliated in all my life. I, uh... No, just how you feel, miss. I see it every day. But you know me. I'm Mrs. Anderson. Uh, names don't mean a thing, miss. It's the crime that counts. Oh, but we've committed no crime. Committed no crime, she says. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, here's the report. One, no driver's license. Two, parked without lights. Three, hold up an extortion. And four, uh, this is the worst of all. Armed robbery. Why, Chief, that's a lie. <laughs> My lady, we have the gun. Yes, and we have the witness who saw you and the man who held up. Oh, now look, Chief, that isn't true. I, oh, well, it, uh, it isn't? Well, Oliver did have a gun in the car, and we did forget to pay the man for the gas. Oh, but... uh, you admit it then, huh? Well, of course it sounds bad. Yeah, that's what I wanted to hear you say. Well, uh, you admit that it uh, looks like a pretty good case, now, don't you? But we'll fight it. We're not guilty. <laughs> yeah, I know you aren't. And we'll get a lawyer and... Huh? You know we're not? <laughs> yeah, of course I know it. But uh, by rights, I could hold both of you on suspicion of armed robbery with those uh, masks we found in the car, the oh. gun, and other things. Oh, but... Well, uh, what are you going to do to Oliver? <laughs> yeah, that's what I want you to see. <laughs> you know, he... Uh, He's been giving me a tough time in counsel with his, uh, his saying I don't hold people on circumstantial evidence. Uh, how do you like it up to now? Frankly, Chief, mm? this is the worst experience I've ever had in my life. It is? Yes. Well, uh, you ain't seen nothing yet. Oh? Wait till that husband of yours gets in here. But uh, remember now, Mrs. Anderson, don't uh, don't tip him off. And, oh, no. Uh, you, you might even help me along a bit. Well, you mean mm? to... Cure him of meddling? Right. <laughs> now, now, help me out on this, Mrs. Anderson. Oh, well, if it, it mm? won't take too long. No, 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 no. It won't take but a couple of minutes. Oh, fine. Bring in that Anderson. Here's Anderson, Chief. All right, now, get your hands off of me. Uh, don't start pushing me around. Okay, Bob. Anderson. I don't care if you are an officer. Okay. Huh? Sit down. Now, look, Chief, you know me. And you know I'm not a crook. I only go on the evidence. Evidence. Now, let's see here. Let's see. No driver's license. Oh, that's not... You were driving a car. Well, yeah. That's about $10. $10, I'll pay. Then, uh, you drove into Snodgrass's filling station, held up the attendant at gunpoint. I did no such thing. Snodgrass says you did. Oh, Snodgrass. And anyhow, we have the gun. We've got the fingerprints. Uh, tell him all, Oliver. Yeah, I'll tell... Huh? What do you mean? Oh. Well, the, uh... The little lady here just told a straightforward story and oh. saved the county some money. <laughs> Judge Brown will probably go light on her sentence. Sentence? Now, wait, Chief. Yes, you're, Anderson. You're... From, what, uh, from what evidence we have, you're, uh, you're good for at least five years. Five years? And with the uh, committee crowding me, I can't show any leniency. Oh, he's right, Oliver. He's right! Mary, what's wrong with you? Well, nothing, but it does look bad, Oliver. I'll fight it. I'll get out of here. Don't you worry. Uh, but, Mr. Anderson, I uh, I haven't even mentioned larceny yet. Uh, larceny? Uh-huh, larceny it is. Huh? Driving out not paying and uh, holding the man at point of gun. Mary, come on. Tell him how it happened. Now, come wait a on. minute. I'll tell you how it happened. Oh. Send Snodgrass in. I'll get him. Snodgrass. Oh, I don't know what to advise you to do, Oliver. Advise me? You mean you think he has a case? No. Okay, okay, get in there. Oh, yes, sir. Yes. Oh, that's that Come guy. In. Come in, Snodgrass. Station Come in. Character. That's him, Chief. Right there, yes, sir. Uh -huh. Right there, that's him. Now, wait a minute. Of course, I got gas from you, yeah. And he, and he was going to shoot the cigar right out of my mouth. Oh, that. Well, mm -hmm. I was... Some shooting, huh? And I drove out without paying. Don't oh, let him get yes, away. Yes, yes, yes. I'll admit it. I'll ah, admit. ah, that's what I wanted. Yeah. A confession. That's not a confession. Mm -hmm. It's... Oh, uh... well, Oliver, you did. It's true. Mm -hmm. Mary, not you, too. No, 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 no. Don't, uh... Don't add wife beating to this rap, too. Well, I'm not. But look, Chief, think of my reputation. I can't stay in this jail. G Junior would be thrown out of the gargoyle club and... Yeah, and my job. Uh-huh. Well, I'd... it's uh, it's pretty late to think of that now. Well, you But don't... I'll do this one thing, Anderson. Uh, just for the little woman there. Oh, you will? What? Uh, just a minute. Oh. Hello. What? It does. <laughs> well, 
Now, that's a break. Uh, bring it up to me in ten minutes. May we go now? Yeah. Go? Do <laughs> you know who just called? No. It was ballistics. Ballistics? Who's he? They, uh, they fired a bullet from that gun of yours. Oh, that, yeah. And the, uh, the bullet matches the one found in the wall of the millinery store that was held up last week. Now, wait a minute, Chief. That's Junior's gun, huh? Oh, I see. Throw the blame on your own son. Oh, well, I don't... It was an old gun Junior found in the creek, yeah, Chief. Yeah, he it? did, huh? Yes. Well, <laughs> of course, it's only your word, Mrs. Anderson. But it's oh, true, Chief. Wow. Believe me, I... This keeps getting worse and worse. Look, Anderson, up until now, I've got you down for 15 years. 15 yeah, that, years? That's not counting the gun thing. Oh. But we're, uh, we're kind of full in the jail tonight, so, uh... I'm releasing you to go home. Go home? Mm -hmm. I can? Oh. Gee, Chief, that's great, but what about Mary? Well, she can go, too. Oh, well. don't, don't worry about her. The judge is lenient with women. Now, uh, go on home, uh, but I, I, I warn you, don't try to leave town. We'll be watching you. Yeah, yeah. But Mary, he said 15 years. Oh, now, don't Good. worry, dear. You'll still be a young man when you come back. Don't talk like that. You've already got me in for life. Mm, I wouldn't take that, Chief, too seriously, Oliver. It probably won't come to 15 years at all. Maybe not more than 10. Good behavior. Oh, wait. You know darn well I didn't do anything. But, darling, the Chief doesn't know. Well... He just goes by the evidence. And Junior! Oh, now, never mind. I'll tell Junior you didn't do it. But I'm still in jail. Explain that to him. I'll get the best lawyers Oh, in that's it. foolish, Oliver. It'll cost the state a lot of money. Cost them? It's costing me years. Oh, well, let's not cross our bridges before we come to them, dear. I wish I had a good high bridge right now. I'd jump off. Now, 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 just take it easy. I'll work something out. Homer, we're home. Oh, Yuri, well, good. Well, I'll run on then. Junior gone to bed? Yep, yep. I've been reading a couple of magazines to kill time. Uh, what's wrong with Oliver, huh? Shall I tell him, Oliver? Uh, look, why don't you just go on home, Homer? Home? Home? Yeah. Well, well, yeah, I guess I should, all right. Uh, yeah, maybe tomorrow I'll feel better. Oh, that's all right. I'll just get my magazines and scoot. You understand, Homer. Yep, 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 I do, yeah. Oh, oh, by the way, I, I returned your saw, Oliver. Huh? Saw? What saw? Well, your saw. I rung the bell, but there weren't nobody home. So I just took it off your back porch, and I was going to leave a note. You took the saw? Well, gosh, hope you ain't mad. He's not angry, Homer, at that. Oh, well, I'll be going along. Uh, Marthy's waiting for me. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Homer, for staying. Yeah, thanks. Oh, that's all right. Glad to do it. Hmm. So you're sure Junior was wrong when he said he left the saw on the back porch? Look, Mary, forget the whole thing. And you had to pick a fight with the chief because a lot of busybodies thought they knew more than he did. They elected me to do it. Sure, and you did it. The idea of making it bad for the chief because he let a man go. How do you feel about it? Now, you see the other side of it, don't you? I'm going to be gone for ten years, and you want to argue. I'll admit the evidence is overpowering, Oliver. You know, Mary, if I had to do it over again, I'd let the chief run his business, and I'd run my own. Now you're getting sensible. Well, Maybe if you told the chief that, he might help you. No. You heard what he said. I'll answer it. All right. Yes, Oliver Anderson speaking. Uh, Anderson, this is the chief. Oh, wait. My sentence hasn't started yet. <laughs> What's funny? <laughs> funny? Yeah. Why, uh, nothing, nothing. Uh... But I, I just wanted to check the time on that next committee meeting, Anderson. They've uh, asked me to attend again. Hey, if I let you go, they'd uh, they'd say I was misusing my authority. They won't say any such thing. I know what you're up against, Chief, but now it's too late. Well, Anderson, sometimes we uh, we, we don't think before we do things. Uh, just talk it over with the little woman. Uh, talk it over with Mary? Yeah, that's right. And then call me back. Uh, yeah. Uh, so long. The Chief? Yeah. What do you mean, talk it over with a little woman? He said that? That's what he said. Well, then I'll tell you. He had no intentions of putting you in jail. He didn't? Of course not. <laughs> had he followed the argument you put up to him on that committee meeting, he could have held you forever. Now, how do you feel? Feel? Why, Mary, I feel great. <laughs> hey, what a great guy, you know? People don't appreciate a guy like that. And tomorrow you'll go down and tell him so. <laughs> Whew, that's like getting a reprieve, Mary. How about some coffee? Huh? I think it could be arranged. Gee, kitchen looks funny. Hey, what, what'd you do? Wash the dishes? That's cute. Huh? This cake out on the table. Cake? I remember I told Junior not to touch it. Touch it? No, 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 wait a minute. 
Oh, you might have left it out when we went. I did no such thing. And the icebox door open. It is. Hmm? <laughs> well, you remember that catch on it doesn't hold any too good. It could have swung open, you know. But, Oliver, I left the cake in the cake box. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, I know what it was. What? <laughs> I bet those mice have been around again. Oh. <laughs> That's what it was. Mice. Junior wouldn't do a thing like that. The Anderson Family is written by Howard Swart, directed by Herb Litton, and features Dick Lane as Oliver, Louise Arthur as Mary, Walter Tetley as Junior, and Herbert Rollinson as Homer. Others in the cast were George Peroni and Doug Young. Music by Gordon Kibbe, sound effects by Ray Erlenborn, and your announcer is Ken Peters. The Anderson Family is a Hollywood Broadcasters production, transcribed from Hollywood.